what's up you two welcome back to the chance bishop show for episode 33 of our mlb the show 23 baltimore orioles franchise mode here on the channel so the orioles find themselves back in the world series for the first time in a very long time uh baltimore uh taking on their opponents in this one here in 2025 i believe 2025 right uh, but take on the Dodgers. Got Lux, at L Lux and left Freeman at first. That's a ooh, that's a strange one. I was not expecting Gavin Lux to be in left field. All right, Gavin Lux, the left field is going to be leading things off, followed by Freddie Freeman, and then a plethora of uh, Los Angeles Dodgers right there. So it's going to be a fun thing right there, honestly, uh, for his Baltimore Orioles pitching staff. I mean, hey, they got the best, one of uh, the best young pitchers on the mound. For game one here in Grayson Rodriguez. But take a look here at Baltimore. They have swept their way here through uh, the playoffs, 7-0. Averaging five and a third runs a game, so that's the same as the Dodgers. Team ERA is 1.29 with a sub-1 whip. So this Dodgers offense is going to be put to the test here against this Orioles pitching staff. Uh, this team has been built through pitching. Their offense average... Uh, maybe slightly below average depending on the position. Maybe slightly above average here and there. Uh, but there's definitely a couple players that have had some down years. Uh, but Baltimore has definitely built through their rotation. So Grayson Rodriguez, he's on the bump here. Two starts, 2-0 with the 2.08 ERA here in the postseason. 13 innings, 8 hits allowed, a .77 whip. Two walks of 21 punch outs for the young Rodriguez. Uh, Grayson here looking for his first career World Series ring. And they got a couple of veterans on this team looking for either their second or their first as well. But first batter up, Gavin Lux, the left fielder, flies this one to the center fielder, Hunter Bishop. Uh, four out, number one. So Hunter Bishop gets the first put away here in this one. And up comes Freddie Freeman, the first baseman. And he's going to send that one down the right field line. Kerstead can't cut it off. That's going to get to the wall. And Freeman's going to have himself a very... Ooh, very close hustle double right there. Almost gunned down there for the second out in the inning. Will Smith the catcher up and Smith goes down swing and drop third strike over to first in time. And that's going to retire uh, Will Smith the catcher. First punch out of the game now for Grayson. Now Mookie bets the right fielder comes up and he goes down swinging for back to back punch outs. And that's going to end the top of the first. And now on to the pitching staff here for the Dodgers. Walker Buehler. Three starts, one and one, with a 2.18 ERA, 20 and two thirds innings pitch, 17 hits, a 106 whip, five walks to 15 punch outs here uh, for Walker Beeler. All right, Gunnar Henderson leading things off, batting 300, and he's going to watch strike three catch the inside, I guess the outside corner of the plate. Uh, now Luis on Acuna batting over 300 so far. He chases the cutter out of the zone. That's going to be two punch outs. Now for Beeler here in this one. Now, all right, Adley Rutschman up. Uh, Rutschman batting 258. It's going to swing through that one as Beeler strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down. Now here comes Nolan Gorman, the second baseman. He's going to swing through that cutter. That's three straight punch shots now for Grayson Rodriguez. Rodriguez taking on Trace Thompson. And Thompson grounds this one. Uh, backhanded by Acuna over to first in time. And that's going to be the second out here in the inning. Thompson just could not get anything done. This will be Thompson center fielder, maybe. Carlos Correa, the shortstop. Ooh, he swings through that one. That's a Javi Baez swing. Big punch out there. That's going to end uh, the second inning. Uh, bottom of the second. Torkelson leads things off, and Torkelson drives that low fastball to center field. Not quite deep enough, and that's going to be caught right there by the center fielder. Uh, four out number one. That is Trace Thompson out there in center. Uh, Jock Peterson, the DH, facing his former team. Strikes out on the knuckle curve. You hate to see that. Fourth punch of the game here for Bugler. And up comes Austin Hayes, the left fielder. The Austin Hayes will swing through that one. And back-to-back -back punch. That ends the second here for the Baltimore Orioles hitting staff. All right, on to the top of the third inning now is the Dodgers. Now they're going to with a hit. Chris Taylor, he strikes out swinging right there. Chris Taylor, utility guy, third base possibly for Chris Taylor. Now James Outman, DH, I believe. He's got to be DH, right? Flips that one to the pitcher as Torgerson gets the put out right there. 
That's going to be a 1-3 assist right there as Outman grounds out. All right, Gavin Lux, he's back up, and Lux goes down looking. And that's going to be a 1-2-3 third inning here for Grayson Rodriguez, setting down the Dodgers in order. And uh, now Kerstead leads things off, and Kerstead pops this one up. That's high in the air, and that's caught behind the plate by Will Smith, the catcher. So one out now here in this one, as there is going to be up to the eighth hole hitter. As so far, the Orioles have yet to get anything in play as Westberg, the third baseman, strikes out swinging. Uh, Westberg's going to be the sixth punch out of the campaign here for Bueller. And now Hunter Bishop, the nine-hole hitter, will... Drive that one to left. Does that have a chance to get down? That one will be caught on the run by Gavin Lux. And that's going to end the third inning. So nine up, nine down so far for Baltimore. As Freeman, Smith, and Mookie Betts are due up. All right, Freddie Freeman, who's one for one, swings through the cutter right there. That's 89 miles an hour. That's seven punch-ups on the day now for Grayson Rodriguez. So Grayson and Walker Buehler are trading strikeouts back-to-back, -back, it seems like, as Will Smith grounds this one out to the second baseman, Luis Angel Acuna, uh, for out number two. Two down now here in this fourth inning. Uh, Rodriguez looking to set down Mookie Betts on the full count, and that's going to be a chopper. Uh, Gunnar Henderson charges it, throw on the run in time. And that's going to be a 1-2-3 fourth inning here uh, for Rodriguez and the Orioles. A gunner leading things off in the fourth with a strikeout looking. Fastball right down the chute. Locked him up right there. Now 1-2 count here to Luis Angel Acuna. And Acuna uh, drives that outside fastball to center field. Trace Thompson settles underneath and makes the catch for out number two. Two up, two down now here in this one. As here we have Adley Rutschman full count. And Rutschman's going to draw the walk. That's going to be the first base runner here for Baltimore. As there goes the perfect game for Beeler. Torgerson up and Torgerson drives that low cutter. Uh, deep to center field. Rutschman rounding second. He's on his way to third. And Trace Thompson makes the catch. And that's going to end the fourth inning there on the flyout. Gorman, Thompson, and Correa do up now here. Top of the fifth. Uh, Gorman going to be issued the ball four right there. Not a great call by the home plate umpire. Rodriguez definitely not happy. Trace Thompson grounds this one to Gunner. Backhands, flips to Acuna, over to Torgerson in time. That's a big double play right there for uh, this Orioles defense. Carlos Correa 0 for 1. Make that 0 for 2. Backhanded by Westberg. Plants, throws in time as the backhanded snag by Torgerson. Retires the side in order. Now Jock Peterson 0 for 1 on the day. And Peterson drives that fastball. And not that fast with an off-speed pitch. The slider to deep right center field and just shy of the warning track there for the first out. Thompson, great range on that one. Austin Hayes, the left fielder, swings through that slider right there for out number two. That's two up, two down now as the Wheels are still going for their first hit here in the fifth. Full count now and Kirstead delivers. Drives that cutter deep to right and bye bye baseball. That is a deep fly home run there for Heston Kerstead here for the Baltimore Orioles. So the fourth home run of the postseason for Kerstead. 426 feet to right field. 105 off the bat right there. And sure, he was a little early on that one. But Kerstead, he's got the power just to drive them a mile. All right, Westberg up now. 0 for 1 chopper, first baseline. And Freeman can't make the grab. Usually the sure glove Freddie Freeman can make those plays without a problem. Uh, but not this time it appears. So Westbrook, even he's got some jokes about it. Hunter Bishop up and Bishop swings through that knuckle curve. And that's going to end the fifth inning. All right, Chris Taylor up and Taylor flies this one to right field. Kerstead comes all the way in. Uh, not the most fleet footed, but he does get there in just enough time to make the catch for out number one. So one retired here in the sixth inning for James Outman as Outman will send that one to center field. Hunter Bishop ranges over and will make the catch. And there you go. That's out number two. Two up now, two down now here in the sixth inning as Grayson Rodriguez is looking to get through this one, two, three inning. Uh, Lux will ground this one to Henderson who fields it, throws as he plants. And there you go. It's a one, two, three, six uh, for Grayson Rodriguez and the Orioles. Uh, bottom six now, Gunnar Henderson will swing through the high slider right there. Eyes wide and right there. That's going to be his third punch out of the game, tenth of the game for Bueller. 
Acuna up now, 1-1 one, one count, and Acuna drives that one to left. That one's going to be over the glove of the shortstop for the one-out single. All right, one-on-one -on -one down now here uh, for the three-hole hitter, Adley Rutschman. A Rutschman who's 0-1 for one with the walk, pops this one up foul ground. That's going to be Chris Taylor ranging over foul territory and making the catch for out number two. So two down now here in this one. As we're going to be sending Spencer Torgerson, who is 0 for 2. And the full count walk gets him on first base. So two on, two out now. As the five-hole hitter will be due up after the Torgerson walk. Jock Peterson up and Peterson grounds that one up the middle. That one's going to bleed into the center field. Trace Thompson coming in. A throw will be the second, but the run will score. That's going to end the sixth. Freddie Freeman leads off the inning here. Kerstad has to come in on this one. And Freeman flies out to the right fielder, Heston Kerstad. So that's going to be the first out now here in the top of the seventh inning. Rodriguez looking for the quality start here. Will Smith up and Will Smith down on the cutter. That's a big out number two. 2-2 two -two count to Betts, and Betts sends that one to left. Hayes giving chase. Hayes can't cut it off, and neither can Bishop as that one gets to the warning track. That's going to be a two-out double there for Mookie Betts. You know, Mookie Betts, one of the best in the game, and he just proves you right there. Nolan Gorman up, and Gorman gets issued the free pass. Fastball just got away from him. Thompson up, and Thompson swings through the curveball there. That's going to end the seventh with runners in scoring position. The tying run on first. There you go. Clutching up was Grayson. Uh, Bruce Dar Gratterall out now. Six games in the postseason. One and one with two blown saves. All right. Austin Hayes up and Hayes swings through that power sinker right there. 96 down in the zone. Just cannot do anything with that pitch. Heston Kerstead up and Kerstead chops that one to Correa. Who's going to go to first with it in time as Freeman makes the catch for out number two. Two up, two down now here for Gratterall. As the Orioles are trying to do something here. Jordan Westberg, full count, takes the inside cutter to center field. And Trace Thompson's going to track it down to end the seventh. So one, two, three, go the Orioles as we're on to the top of the eighth inning now for Kumar Rocker. He's going to make his second appearance here in this postseason. A one inning, one strikeout, one walk for the young Rocker. A Rocker, uh, the former Vanderbilt standout, looking to hopefully you know, lock down this eighth inning. Full count now here to Correa, and that one's going to go right to Austin Hayes. He got a bit of a late break on that one for a ball that was very close to him. Seems like he lost it in the late right there, rechecking his scouting report after that bad read. Chris Taylor, the third baseman up, and Taylor will send that one to right field. Kerstead coming in, and Kerstead settling and making the catch for out number two. So two flyouts now here in this one. The left and the right fielder getting involved. The center fielder just needs it now. As James Outman, the DH, I'm assuming, flies that one to right field. That one's back. That one's deep. And that one's going to be gone as Rocker lets up the home run there to James Outman. His third home run of the postseason. That's going to cut this Orioles lead in half. 386 feet to right field. At 96 off the bat. You just hate to see that one right there. Not an overall good pitching performance right there by Rocker as he... Cuts this uh, Baltimore lead in half. And Gavin Lux, the left fielder, who's 0 for 3, sends that one to right field. That's going to get down. And now he's going to be 1 for 4 on the day. So Rocker throwing extra pitches that he doesn't have to right now. And uh, yeah, his day is done. He gets pulled for Sinal Perez. Perez in three games is 2 and 3 innings pitch. Four punch outs. So Perez looking to probably face a lefty right now. And he's going to be facing, in fact, uh, the lefty Freddie Freeman, who will send that one to left field. Austin Hayes makes the catch, and that's going to be one up, one down now for Perez. A Yancy Almonte in now five games, one win, four and two-thirds innings pitched. A 193 ERA, five punch outs, two walks. Right is batting 333, left is batting 250 against uh, the right-handed Almonte. So Bishop up, and Bishop chops that one to Chris Taylor, who double clutches. And over to first base in time for out number one. One up, one down now here in this eighth inning. As Gunnar Henderson, who's 0 for 3, chops that one up the middle. Big bounce off the mound, and that's going to be a chopper for a single here in the ninth, uh, the eighth inning. That's going to be runner on first now for Acuna, who chases the slider out of the zone. That's going to be the second out now. First punch out of the game for Almonte. Now up comes Adley Rutschman, who will drive that one into right center field. 
Gunner can run, and that one's going to get down. One hopping off the wall. It stays in play, and Gunner going to go first to home on the double. It's now a two-run lead here for Baltimore late in this one. All right, Torgerson up now. Torgerson chases the slider down and away, and that's going to end the eighth. And out comes Craig Kimbrell. Kimbrell, four games so far in this postseason. Three saves, four innings pitch, four punch outs, two walks. No hits allowed, and no earned runs allowed here for Craig Kimbrell. All right, Kimbrell looking to shut down the Dodgers. His former team, uh, first batter up, Will Smith grounds this on the Westberg, who double pumps it, goes to first in time. That's one up, one down now here for Kimbrell. All right, next batter due up. It's going to be the four hitter Mookie Betts, who will go down looking right there at the two seamer. Down and down and in the zone right there. Just jams him right there. Now Nolan Gorman up and Gorman goes down the fastball up and in. That's going to be a 1 2 3 inning here for Craig Kimbrell as he locks down game one here of the World Series. So the World Series goes by the wayside here of the Orioles in game number one. It's going to be a very tough pitching matchup as with the face Dustin May in the future. Uh, but hopefully, the Orioles can ride this hot streak and this hype right now. And hopefully grab another victory. So Beeler gets the loss. Six innings, four hits, two earned runs, and 10 Ks with two walks. Altman, oh, was player of the game for the Dodgers. One for three at the home run right there. But just could not compete to Grayson Rodriguez. Rodriguez goes 3-0 so far now in this world uh, this postseason. Kimball picks up his fourth save. And they always take a commanding one to nothing lead so far here in this one. So, take a look there. Grayson Rodriguez, player of the game, and gets the win. Beeler, of course, gets the loss right there. You hate to see that. Uh, but Kirsten had the home run that gave the Orioles the initial lead. Rutschman had an RBI, and so did Joe.